What's going on, YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking out with this Sandstream double team, which I'm actually hyped for. I love Extra Joe. He's one of my favorite Pokemon, if you guys don't know that. He's actually rocking the front spot with Sand Rush, Focus Sash, and his moveset is Iron Head EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect. Rock Slide can actually hit both of the opponent's Pokemon, so it's a very nice move to be rocking the doubles. Then we got a Pokemon that we haven't used on this channel yet. We got Lawn Mower Rotom, the grass form of him. He's rocking Levitate, like most Rotoms. And he has an extra belt, which actually boosts his damage for special attack moves. Not special attack, super effective moves. I think it's like a 33% damage boost, which is very nice. He's rocking Leaf Storm, Volt Switch in order to hit, switch out, protect, and will the wisp actually do some burns. Then we got a Choice Bandit Arcanine, which I love this moveset on him. It's so versatile he has extreme speed which is first move priority he has a fairy move play rough an electric move wild charge and flare blitz so since he has choice band it's good to give him like a versatile move set and then we can always dynamax kind of like switch it up and go into a different move if we really need to then we got a throat spray sylveon right here and what the throat spray actually allows us to do is when sylveon uses a sound based move such as hyper voice her special attack is going to boost and she'll be an absolute unit so i'm actually hyped to use this sylveon right here then we got this corbinite rocking the citrus berry and it has its normal move set besides iron defense we actually swapped out iron defense for tailwind considering we were playing doubles we can actually just boost the speed of all allied pokemon with that tailwind then we got this t tar that actually complements the extra drill very well rocking sandstream so we can rock out the, with the sandstream get the sand rush extra drill in there boost the extra drill speed times two which is nice in the sandstream he's rocking a chapel berry and his move set is low kick protect rock slide to hit both opponents pokemon and crunch but guys if you'd like to use this team for yourself the code is at the bottom of the screen and let me know for question of the day what starter pokemon did you go with for this game for pokemon sword and shield i'm actually team grookey i love grookey he is my favorite one also guys make sure you check out my last video shiny wooloo we actually found shiny wooloo it is a great shiny reaction and it is hype so if you haven't checked that out already head over there hit that like button on that video check it out it's lots of fun but without further ado let's get on with these battles Hopping into battle number one, this guy is rocking a Duraludon, Rotom, Pizza Oven Fire guy, Whimsicott, Gyarados, Lucario, and a Sylveon. And a Sylveon here. Okay. Okay. I gotta think. I gotta think just a little bit here. Just a teensy bit. What am I gonna do here? How am I gonna roll it out? This team is very versatile, but I saw this team before, but we're gonna have to bring something with a fire move. I think Arcanine is gonna lead that fun spot, considering it counters that Gyarados, that Whimsicott. That Lucario. He does absolute work. And potentially that Duraldon, if Fairy is super effective than Duraldon. I'm not too sure considering he's part steel. But okay, looking at all that, I think we're gonna we could rock out with our extra drawn T Tar in the front spot. But then he's just probably just gonna bring that Lucario Gyarados or that Whimsicott in there. So what's the plan? I say we do it. I say we do it, because then we will outspeed. We can go for a max rock ball right off the bat. Take out a Gyarados if he leads it. I say we do it. I say we lead the T Tar Gar or extra drill, and then we bring the Sylveon and Arcanine in the back. Or no, 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 no. Let's lead. Let's lead Arcanine, Rotom, and then bring the, the boys in the back. Let's go Rotom in the front, Arcanine in the front, and then T-Tar and Extra Drill. Bring it up the back end, which we, we will be chilling with. I'm liking that. I'm liking how that looks, actually. Because I feel like he's going to bring that uh, Lucario and that Gyarados for some reason. I don't know why. But if you guys would like to catch more content from me, make sure you go in the link in the description below. Genius25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. It is tons of fun. We stream four plus days every single week. Let's go. Who's he going to start off with? Maybe that's the Raldon. Lucario and Whimsicott. I did see that Lucario popping off here. But we do have our Arcanine in the front spot. Our Arcanine does work on both these Pokemon right here. We may actually set up a burn on that Whimsicott. We set up a burn, but we're going to drop the physical attack of both these Pokemon. They're probably going to try to set off a Tailwind. I think they're going to set off a Tailwind here. Let's see. Let's see. We Volt Switch out. Let's Volt Switch out against this Lucario. Try to take him out. Let's try to take out this Lucario right off the bat. I say, I, yeah, that's, that's the plan. Where do we go for this Whimsicott? I say we just try to take out this Lucario because the Whimsicott's only good for that Tailwind. It's going to try to set up a Tailwind. Maybe a Leech Seed and all that, but this Lucario is going to be a hitter Pokemon. So if we get this out the way, we can actually do some work. But there it goes. The Lucario is going to pop out here. The Gyarados is going to pop out here too. But we're going off with a Volt Switch, so we might be able to potentially take this thing out. We might be able to potentially take this thing out considering our Rotom is going for a Volt Switch on it, which is nice, which is actually very, very nice. Whimsicott is going to get that Tailwind off. He is going to go for that Tailwind. That's fine by me. And we're going to go for that Volt Switch. Yeet. Do some work. Do some work. And then that Flare Blitz switches over. Beautiful. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it, dude. What a start. What a start. This Flare Blitz is going to pop over. And we're going to go right into our T-Tar here and start a Sandstream. 
We're going to start a Saiyan stream right off the bat. I can see him going into his Lucario or something, which is fine by me, which is fine by me. Because we still have our, uh, we will still have our Arcanine out here. Saiyan stream's going to start up here. They got the Tailwind. Can we take out this Wimscott with this Flare Bunch? I'm hoping. I'm hoping, baby. Do it. Do it, baby. Oh, oh, this thing is focused, Ash. This thing is focused, Ash. But what was that? You guys hear that? We had the Sandstorm rolling with our T-Tar. Bye-bye, Whimsicott. Let's go. Let's go. What a way to actually start off the battles, man. Nice start, dude. We're going to crush it here. We are going to crush this first battle. Let's go. Let's go. So he's rocking who else? Lucario. And we don't know his fourth Pokemon. Rotom. Lucario and Rotom Fire. Nice, dude. Nice, nice, nice. He's going to go into an overheat, probably. Because Electric doesn't do too 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 much and we're just gonna go into do we go into a rock slide here we can go into a low kick i said we just go into a rock slide double up on you guys and then we roll out into a a flare blitz here yeah let's roll into a flare blitz on this lucario and then rock out with a rock slide battle was canceled already that is how you started off one quick easy match just dominate like that and make them cancel the battles out that's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely swept that last guy. Just worked on him so easily. But this guy is actually rocking a Trick Room team. As you can tell, he's rocking a Ranguru, Hatterin, Gallade, Ndidi, Torkoal, and a Gigalith right here. Okay, okay. So he's going to be leading that Ndidi for sure. For sure. Probably that Ndidi, that, or that. It's going to be either the Ndidi and the Ranguru, or the Ndidi and the Hatterin. Trying to set up that Trick Room. So who are we going to roll out here? We're going to need something to counter that Torkoal. Do we really have anything to counter the Torkoal? Hmm. We don't have any water on our team. That is the tough part. That is the tough part. Who are we going to go into to actually do some work on this team? So we're going to need our Rotom to actually... He's going to do work on that Gigalith. That is tough. This is tough. We're going to be bringing in our T-Tar Extra Drill combo. Our T-Tar Extra Drill is definitely going to come in here. Um, so I think we might as well just lead him. And just do some work right off the bat. Get that Sandstorm rolling. So we're going to lead them. Then who, who are we going to go into? We go into our Arcanine. Our Choice Banner Arcanine could potentially do some work. It's a Gigalith. Mmm... Choice Band Arcanine or Rotom Sylveon. Uh, no, a lot of these things are fairies. So Sylveon's going to have to sit out. Let's go Arcanine. Let's bring Rotom, boy. Or no, let's go Corviknight. Let's go Corviknight here in case we do survive the Trick Room. We're going to just set off the Tailwind and all that stuff. Get some Brave Birds off. We have some Roost and an Iron Head rocking on this team. So I think we're sitting pretty right here. I think we're sitting fine. I'm not too, too worried. Only thing is, I know what he's leading. Like, you know he's going into the follow me on the NDD. And then probably the trick room with that Oranguru. And then try to psychic us up. So we're going to try to take out that NDD in the one shot. Let's see who he throws out. There it is. There's the Hatchreen. See, I told you. It was either the Oranguru or the Hatchreen rocking with the NDD. For sure. But our T-Tar extra combo comes out here. And we should outspeed. But I think follow me does go first. That is the problem. He's going to try to get that trick room all. And roll into some, like, max flares and all that with his, uh, what's it called? With his Torkoal. Because he's definitely rocking these two. Probably the Torkoal and the Gigla. If I had to guess. If I had to guess here. We're going to go straight into a Crunch. Do we go on the Indini? I said we try to take out this Hatrine. But I think he's going to go for a Follow Me. Regardless. Let's go here. Let's go for an Iron Head. Oh, and let's just let's just try to double up on this Hatrine. Let's just try to double up on this Hatrine. Follow Me does come out here. We will outspeed the uh, T-Tar. Which stinks. Because I, I was hoping we could take out that Indini with one shot. Can we still do it? Can we still do it? Oh, no. Crunch is going to pop off here. Take out this Ndidi. Yeah, I was hoping we could take it out in one shot and then go after that Hatterene. Okay, so, so the Torkoal is going to come out here. The Torkoal is going to come out here. Trick Room is going to roll. So I think he's going to go Torkoal. Try to go into a Max Flare on the uh, with the Torkoal. Which is fine by me, actually. Because we are focused as he will probably try to come in for a Max Flare on our Extra Drill. But we, we are focused as we'll eat that up. And then we'll try to get a shot on that Hatterene. The Hatterene's probably going to go for, like, a Moonblast or a Dazzling Gleam. I can see going for Dazzling Gleam. Doubling up on my Pokemon. That is tough. That is tough. Hopefully, he's not rocking that Torkoal, but I can see him Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax whatever Pokemon pops off next. Because he does cover a lot of ground with us. The Gigalith comes out here. He's going to probably go for a Fire Move on us. Let's rock out. Let's rock out with a Low Kick on him. We're going for that Low Kick. Or do we go for the Max Knuckle try to raise our attack? Let's raise our defense here. Or are these... We could go for an EQ. EQ doesn't work. Or we could just go straight for an Iron Head. Because Iron Head does work on both. We're going to try to get this Hatterene out the way. Do we Dyna? Do we Dyna here? Hmm. Who do I think is... Ah, uh, dude. Do we Dyna here? This is such a tough call. This is such a tough call. I say we do Dyna. I say we do Dyna or T-Tar. 
Let's go into uh let's dynamax our T-Tar. Go into a max knuckle, try to boost our attack here, and then go into an iron head right on this Hatterene. That's the plan. That is the plan right here. We're gonna try to rock out. Come on! We gotta do some work. That's the only tough part. Is this team covers so much ground because it is trick room. Because it is trick room. I told you he is gonna dynamax that Gigala. We are gonna try to do some work on it. We are gonna dynamax our T-Tar. He's gonna go for a flame move on our probably a max flare onto our extra drill. So our extra drill gets one chance taking out this Hatterene. This Hatterene is gonna go for probably a moon blast or a dazzling gleam. If it goes for a dazzling gleam, our extra drill is done. It's done for. But there should be a move to counter trick rooms. There should be a move to just like just like stop it. Like if you know they're going for it, there probably is a move. There probably is a move that clears all the conditions on the field. But nobody really uses it. It's probably not that uh, viable. Well, let's see how we, how they actually roll out. Max Steel Spike rolls out onto our T-Tar. T-Tar, eat it up, buddy. Eat it up, buddy! So I like to see him. We are rocking a Chapel Battery on him, which is nice. Which is nice. So I thought he was going to go after our... What's it called? I seriously thought he was going to go after our... Here comes Dazzling Gleam. Like I said, do some work on our T-Tar. Our T-Tar should be able to eat up a couple more shots. Not very effective on our extra drill. But the Max Knuckle comes out. I don't know how much damage. I don't think it's going to do too, too much damage on this thing. This thing is an absolute beast. But we do booster attacks for our extra drill. Hopefully, we get this Hatterene out the way. That would be huge. That would be huge to actually get this Hatterene out the way. But after we get... Oh, no! This thing is weakness policy. This thing's an absolute unit. Absolute unit. Let's go. Iron Head's going to pop off here. Yeet. Take him out. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go. We might actually go into a max card. Did we go into a max card? I don't know. Well, that's actually going to be a tough call because I can see him taking out my T-Tar right here. Depends who he goes with because he might double up on my T-Tar. So he might actually still go for a max guard and just try to do some work on this. What's it called? This Gallade. He might do some work on this Gallade. Let's go for a max guard here. And then we're just going to go into a, an EQ. EQ will do some work. We can't go for an EQ here. We'll do some work on all these Pokemon or Iron Head. No. Does Rock Slide do anything? No. Okay. So we're just going to go for an EQ here. Try to do some work all around the table because I think he's going to double up. I seriously think he's going to double up on my T-Tar here. Because I don't think he thinks that Giglet is going to take us out. The Max Steel Spike is blocked. Let's see how his Glade goes. Glade goes for that close combat. Blocked. Like I said, the double hit coming out on our T-Tar. And we're just going to rock out with an EQ and get some free hits off here. Let's go, dude. What a play. Nice little play by me. Do some work on his Pokemon. Yes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Buffett comes out. And what are we going to roll out here? Do, 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 do. Max Knuckle. We gotta go for a Max Knuckle on this thing right here. And I'm just gonna go for a... I think he's gonna take out my... Uh, I, I say he takes out my... What's it called here? I say he takes out my T-Tar. I say he takes out my T-Tar. So if not, our extra is just gonna probably sweep out this whole thing. He's probably just gonna sweep out everything. He's gonna go for another Max Steel Spike. I think we say bye-bye to our, our T-Tar here. Yeah, so there goes our T-Tar. I think the Close Combat's going to take out our... What's it called? Our extra drill, which is tough, which is tough. So we're not so bad. It's all right. We're sitting in a decent position. If our extra drill can eat up this close combat, oh my lord, that would be beautiful. That would be beautiful because this EQ should take out potentially both of them. Let's see. Close combat comes out. Dodge it. Nope. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. No. No. <laughs> can his is the trick room almost done? Because if that trick room's almost done, we can, we're, we're still sitting at a nice little shot here. Because we can rock out into our uh, what's it called. There goes Buffett. Take him out. Okay, Buffett takes out that Gallade anyway. That uh, Gigalith is done with his turns. We still have this Arcanine here, which is beautiful. Arcanine and this Corviknight. Corviknight's rocking Bray or Iron Head, which Iron Head will be super effective towards that Gigalith. So, we're fine. If this, what's it called, is done. If this um, Trick Room is over, then we should be fine. I think it should be almost over. Let's see. If it's almost over, we're going to rock a Tailwind out. And try to get running here. Try to get running with this match. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, is this his last Pokemon? This is his last Pokemon. He gets one turn. No need to even... What's it called? No need to... What's it called? We're just going to go for a play rough. No need to even go into a... What's it called? A Tailwind. Okay, this is his last Pokemon. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I thought he had one extra one. Rockside's going to pop out here. Arcanine dodges it. Corviknight will eat it up. No problem. Which is beautiful. And that is going to be the game, I believe. I think this thing might be able to eat up my Iron Head. Yeah, it does eat up our Iron Head. But is he going to eat up this? He probably will. He's got another chance. Oh, my God. He avoids the attack. And the Sandstorm does subside. And the Trick Room does. So we will get first turns. We will get first turns, which is beautiful. And this is going to be the game. This is going to be the game. Wow, we had a lot of stuff going on that field. This was such a good match. We actually outweighed that 
trick room. That was my plan. I knew he was running that trick room the whole time. I was just like, yo, we got to outweigh this and then go in for the win. But it was beautiful that we were able to soak up some shots with our T-Tar. And that read, that max guard read actually came up clutch for us. Because if we didn't read that max guard, soak up both those hits and get that EQ off, I don't think we would have won that game. I don't think we would have won that game. But there we go. Beautiful game by us. I actually thought I played that very, very well. Stay calm and everything. Let, like, thought out everything. And did some work. Third and final match coming at you guys. This guy is rocking a Trick Room team just like the last one. He's rocking the Ndidi. He's going to lead the Ndidi. We know that's coming. Probably Ndidi Hatterene. Ndidi Hatterene is probably coming in here. We're going to go with our T-Tar Excadrill. We're going to lead T-Tar Excadrill just like the last time. Bring our Rotom in the back end. And then our Arc. Do we bring our Arcanine or our Sylveon? I said we bring our Sylveon. Sylveon can do a little bit more work. But let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go bang. Ch -ch bang. Let me go with our... Sorry, Rotom. You're out this round. <laughs> You're out this round. But let's roll out with this team right here. I know who he's leading. And if he's leading or if he's leading that Toxpec, I'm, I don't think I'm going to swing at it first. I think we're going to wait just a second considering it's probably rocking Baneful Bunker. We might Dynamax off the bat and try to do some work. We could. Oh, I have a plan. I have a plan. Go ahead. Show me that Hatterene lead. Show me that Hatterene lead. Okay, so the Hatterene and DD lead come in here. I say we Dynamax or what's it called? Our Exodrill. Or whoever has higher attack, which I think it's my Exodrill. Take out that NDD in one shot. And then go after that Hatterene with the, with the, um, what's it called? That's super effective. I think we have Crunch that's super effective. Right? And we could potentially two tap him and just get out of the trick room. Let me see my speed. Let me see my speed or my attack. My attack should be higher on my Exodrill. Let's see. 200. 205. Okay, so we're definitely gonna roll out with our extra drill here. They're both they're both very, very strong, but still. We gotta make sure we tap up this uh Indeedy. So we're gonna Dynamax. Mm. Hold up. No, that's not the plan. Actually, yeah, it is the plan. It is the plan. Cause I think this will take out the Indeedy. I really do think it's gonna take out the Ndidi. And then we're gonna get a nice shot off on this Hatterene. I think, and what's called, if he doesn't follow, use follow me, we'll just go for the Hatterene. Let's go. Let's go for it, man. We're going for it. But the, my Iron Head almost took out that Lance DD. So I think with the Dynamax, we can take it out. That's, uh, this is why I'm doing it. This is why I'm doing it. Hopefully, we make the right play calls here. Let's go, Excadrill. Come on, buddy. I need your clutch here. Okay, extra roll is gonna rock out here first. Well, indeed, he's gonna use the follow me, of course. And you're gonna try to roll a trick room. We're trying to counter that right here. Max Steel Spike coming out here. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, no! No! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll raise our, our team's defense. We'll raise our team's defense, which is fine by me. We're gonna try to counteract this whole thing right here. Crouch is coming out here. We potentially could have rocked out into two rock sides and get two double hits. That could have been smart, but we're fine. I think we're chilling here. I think we are chilling. I don't, I don't, I'm not too, too worried. Like I said, who's he gonna go out into? Trick Room comes out, of course. We knew this was coming here. Maybe we should have went for a max rock ball. Gotta figure out ways around Trick Rooms. That's what I'm trying to learn. You guys know any ways around Trick Rooms? Let me know, let me know. <laughs> but who's he gonna roll out into? Maybe that Copper Raja? That Copper Raja? Which I'd be fine with the Copper Raja. I'm not too worried about it. Um, who else was he rocking? He was rocking the Ndidi. We, yeah, yeah, we talked about that. We knew that. Oh, the tax effect. Ew, wee. Ew, wee. Are we rocking Max Quake here? We are rocking Max Quake. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. And we're going to go for a crunch on this Hatterene. A crunch on this Hatterene. I can see him potentially going into a Toxic or a Baneful Bunker. Let's see what happens. He's going to Dynamax his Toxic pack. Try to get some water hits off on us. He's gonna try to switch up the sandstorm, which I, like again, that's fine by me. Sandstorm's not doing really anything, considering we're not using rock moves, and you have the trick and rolling. Oh no! He goes for the Hatterene. Hatterene's gonna be solid. He's gonna try to take out my T-Tar here. She will outspeed. She will go first. She is the slowest on the field. So let's see. Max Starfall. Max Flare. We will eat this up. We have our Focus Sash, which is fine by me. Oh, we do eat it up regardless. Are you gonna try to double up on us? You trying to double up on me, dog? I want to see it happen. I want to see you try. Come on, what you want? I want this Toxic Pack out of the way. Toxic comes out on my T-Tar. No! So good. So good, Toxic Pack. Such a beast. Poison. We are now poisoned. 
And hopefully we can do some work on this toxic pack here. Crunch goes out because our x drill is now the slowest in the trick room because he is the fastest out there on the field. Henry's defense is going to drop. Max Quick's going to come out here. Take him out. Take him out. I don't think it's going to take him out. This thing's a defense beast. Oh, it, oh, it does. Let's go. Let's go, baby. See you later, Toxpec. Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit, baby. And we raise our defensive stat. Oh, our special defense, which is beautiful. So we might be able to soak up another shot from that Hatterene. From that Hatterene, baby. Okay. We're sitting fine. I don't, I'm liking where we're at. I am liking where we're at. Do, do. We're sitting pretty good. We're sitting pretty good right here. He's going to go into the shuckle. The shuckle. <laughs> Will Max Quake actually do work on it? Max Rockfall does work on that shuckle. He's going to try to take us out here. So we're going to go here and then potentially a rock slide. Because we'd rather get the sandstorm set back up. Yeah, and then we're going to rock out into a max or a rock slide. So shuckle's going to protect shuckle. You hunk a jump. That's why you have no friends. <laughs> shuckle protects itself. Max Flare is going to come out here. Take out our extra drill. Which I think it will. Unless we eat it. Nope. We do not eat. Which is fine. We get a free hit off on that uh, Hatterene. We'll just get a nice little tap on the Hatterene. But she's fine by it. Considering they are toxic. I think she has one more turn rolling out here. So here comes the rock slide. Protect by the shuckle. Protect it by the shuckle. Wait. Huh? It doesn't hit that. What's it called? Did we miss that Hatterene? What do you mean? What do you mean? No. Okay. What are we going to go into? Are we going to go into him? We can't go into him. He just choose Bandit. I really want to save my Sylveon with that third spray. I really want to save my Sylveon with that third spray. We can use a fire move. We are going to go into a flare blitz on that Hatterene. We are going to go into a flare blitz on that Hatterene. Drop. Or, oh, Shuckles. Mm, his attack raises. Shuckles a sneaky little dude. Shuckle is a sneaky little boy. But we are going to go into the flare blitz on that Hatterene. And we go, go for a, do we go for a protect here? No, dude, they're, they're trying to wait me out with the poison. We got to get some moves off with our T-Tar before we actually go out with them. Because the, to the Toxic is going to start tanking us up here. What's he going to go? What, what are you going to go with the Hatterene, man? I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. It's a 2v kind of 2 here. But he has one Dynamax here. Shell Smash is going to come out with that Shuck, man. Dude, the Shuckles. The Shuckles so good. His defense is going to raise any special defense. But his attack is going to harshly fall. So he's, he might try to get some poison, some leech seeds out on us. Max Mindstorm is going to take out my T-Tar. Or, oh, on my Arcanine. Bruh, what do you mean? <laughs> Doing some work on me. Rock Slide's going to pop off here. Do some decent damage on both of them. And we get off another Rock Slide here. Poison's going to start ticking away. Start ticking away. So we're going to go for a Hyper Voice with my Sylveon. We're still in this. We are still in this. I'm just worried about that Shuckle. I'm worried about that Shuckle, man. Hyper Voice is going to set off that Throat Spray. Which could be huge. Which could be absolutely huge here. Bam, bam, do, do. Hop up, boys. Hyper boys. Do some work on both of them. And then, do we go into a protect? We're gonna go into another rock side. We're gonna go into another rock side, do some more work. I can see him potentially going into another shell smash with the shuckle. But I'm waiting for this trick room to end. Infestation comes out here. Ooh, wee. It did one damage, but it does set off an infestation on us, which is tough. Which is tough. That's some green pops off here. Takes out my T-Tar, potentially. T-Tar, eat it. Yes, my boy T-Tar. We can actually do some work here. Rockside comes out here. Takes out that Hatterene. Does some work on the Shuckle. Oh, crit it on the Shuckle. Show me that crit on the Shuckle. Critical on the Shuckle. That is what we'd like to see. That's what we like to see. That Hopefully, the Toxic doesn't take us out here. And the Hyper Voice should be able to take out this uh, Shuckle here. Take him out. Yes, and the Throat Spray comes out. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's it. I thought he had more Pokemon. I thought he had more Pokemon. Let's go. I thought he had one more Pokemon, but we will take that win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. This team actually countered two Trick Room teams. Like, are you serious? Whomped on some Trick Room teams, which I usually struggle with. Because usually once I get that Trick Room set up, you're kind of dumb. But we whomped on two of them, and we had a clean sweep in that first match. So let's go. Here's one last look at this team if you'd like to use it for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, and this team was awesome. This team was definitely a lot of fun to play with, especially because I love using Sandstream teams with the X-Drill. It's just so much fun, and it can do some work. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day. What starter did you go with for Short and Shield? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.